WCW finally issued their own steroid policy, and Kip Fry is a lawyer, so you know that this is going to be good. And one interesting twist on the WWF policy, WCW has a deal where new contracts have a clause that offer a 10% bonus if the wrestler agrees to voluntarily undergo steroid tests on a regular basis and passes them all for a year. That's a good ass deal if you ask me, man. I mean, I'd say yeah. Uh, the the testing is pretty much on a volunteer basis at this point. <laughs> what could go wrong there? Uh, <laughs> Nothing. And if, and if you do test positive, you are offered appropriate medical counseling and rehab. I mean, that's pretty good. Uncle Dave thinks that uh, the 10% bonus will be more than enough motivation for a bunch of guys to give it up. But the problem is that 20% of the locker room is going to be a-holes who continue getting bigger because everyone else gets smaller. I I mean, I can't say he would be wrong in that thinking. Like physically or just appearance or just like from the naked eye? Uh, appearance wise. <laughs> and I mean, it. LCW never really cared that much, though. And I don't think about like, oh, man, he's effing huge. Let's push him. Well, did they ever have anybody who was huge like that? I mean, there's like Luger and Sting was pretty big, but he wasn't like, oh, my gosh, he's clearly on the juice. I mean, I I mean, like big names, too. Oh, well, Luger wasn't big enough at the time yet. No. So, I mean, they never really looked at. Vince was clearly a body guy. I mean, it's all always been said. It's like, he, pal, look at him. <laughs> well, like they said, that's why he wanted to push Kevin Nash so bad because they were, they were like, well, he's just naturally effing huge. So <laughs> like Vince was just salivating at that. 